everybody we're going to talk about how to build chords from the chord markings you have at the top so we're going to go to our travel clef that's what we're going to start we need to make sure our duration is selected if our duration is selected make sure it's open alrighty uh, we're going to go to the piano part we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the bass part all right if it's a G in the top up here we're going to put a G in but the rhythm we're going to use is we're actually going to put in a crotchet and then we're going to press delete so that it becomes a rest. We're then going to pop in another crotchet, but this time we're going to make it a quaver. We're going to put two of those in. Then the next note we're going to put in is another crotchet, but we're going to hit delete so it becomes a rest. And then we're going to put in another two quavers. Oops, I'm going to put in another two quavers so we get two Gs. And that's all G you can see. Now at the moment that's a single note. Now that's the rhythm we want for our right hand, for our reggae number. But of course that's not what we want initially. We actually want to have three notes. So what we have to do is we have to click back on here and we have to put one a third above. We have to click back here again and we have to put another one a third above. And we do that for all of the notes. Now a really quick way, once you've got your whole bar sorted, when you have your whole first bar done, get that in like that. You can actually click the entire bar, you can copy it and you can paste it. And what you can do is you can change all of the notes. So you could actually move that down to a D and you can click on the next note and you can move that down to the note above and click on this note and move it down to the note above so that your chord is now a D chord. G chord. Oops. Oops, sorry. And when you check, you'll notice that that note there is supposed to have an F sharp with it because it's a D major chord, so it has a D and F sharp and an A. So you'll need to add a sharp. Oops, sorry. You'll need to add a sharp to it. Now, if you don't know where they are when it comes to your sharps, you need to go to pitch. When your pitch is open, up here, you'll see we have sharps, flats, naturals. So we can add a sharp and you'll notice the next one's been made a natural, so you'll need to make him a sharp as well. And then of course a G. Now the D chord is the only one you'll need to add a sharp to, with the exception of your E7. You will need to add a sharp for your E7, but everybody else will just be a formation such as this.